Officials in Windsor and Essex County, Ontario, are reporting 98 new cases of COVID-19, and that brings the local total to nearly 1,500. Now, the Windsor-Essex County Health Unit says 96 of those cases are from the agri-farm sector, and two are from community spread. The latest increase in cases is the area's highest since the start of the pandemic, but according to the mayor of Leamington, Ontario, the development is not a surprise. In fact, posting to Facebook, Mayor Hilda McDonald says the following, the on-farm testing is ramping up quickly and on a bigger scale than before. Expect big positive test results due to the enormity of the numbers being swabbed. She goes on to say the municipality is working with partners around an isolation housing plan for the workers and cohorts who test positive. Announcement of the details, she says, is coming in the next few days. And also in Leamington, Ontario, a march for migrant rights was held today. Demonstrators are demanding more rights, better working conditions and an easier path to permanent residency for workers who have been essential during the pandemic. And as Talia Reacher reports from the march, it comes on a day when a memorial was held for the third migrant worker to die of COVID-19 in this country. Dozens have gathered for a march here in Leamington, where hundreds of migrant workers have tested positive for COVID-19 throughout this pandemic. Protesters have been chanting, good enough to work, good enough to stay. They say these workers need to be given permanent residency, better living conditions, since they say some are living 20 to 30 people in one place, as well as guaranteed income for workers who test positive. Earlier, we spoke with one of the organizers of March for Migrant Rights. A lot of people are complaining about migrant workers not getting tested for COVID, but no one talks about like the fear that they have of getting deported back home because the farm workers don't give them any sick days, any personal days. This rally comes on the same day Juan Lopez Chaparro will be laid to rest. The father of four from Mexico is the third migrant worker in Ontario to die from COVID. This week, both Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Premier Doug Ford addressed this issue, promising more testing and more resources and agreeing that more needs to be done. But protesters here today say these issues have been happening for years and COVID is simply shining a bigger light on them. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Leamington, Ontario.